One of the things that I've added in is, is this mechanism here. When the animals come in, they can put their head under it and lift this up with their shoulders. And they can go inside and this just rides along their back. And once they're inside the chute, if they happen to balk in front of the head gate, they can't back up and can't leave. And this is just a very simple mechanism. There's a million ways that you can build the body. It's basically just a box. You could build it out of wood. Uh, you could build it with hinging sides. Um, if you really wanted to, you could, uh, you could put hinges on the bottom. That way it's an actual squeeze and you can squeeze the sides of the animal. I decided to just keep it simple. Um, the way this works, the squares are large enough to where I can get my hands through and I can work on the animal. Um, but like I said, if it was in a permanent location, I wasn't going to be moving it around. I would probably mount this to post and have permanent mounted gates on each side. The length of this is designed so that it will fit in the bed of a pickup truck. And it is, it is lightweight. It can be pretty easily picked up, put in the back of a truck, carried around wherever it needs. And if you look at the front portion here, which is really where all the design took place, this is the head gate. And so the animal comes through here, and as it enters, once its head makes it through here, it will simply close it. And this whole thing to build cost about $68 in hardware. Uh, that includes this pipe and includes miscellaneous hardware, hinges, um, chains, that simple thing. Um, these, these springs that open the gate. I built it in about three and a half Saturdays. And most of that time was spent working on this head gate and trying to figure out these exact angles and lengths. Um, had I had blueprints, I could have easily built the whole thing in one Saturday. But just to show you how this works, when I push this lever down, both sides close at the same time. And when it closes, I can simply close it. And once I trap the animal's head inside, I can work on it as I please. And I pull the pin and it opens up. And I stand here, wait for the next one to come through. You can see both sides very free, uh, free flowing very easy to catch the animal. 